My name is Greg Likolai, and the poster we're presenting is the development of an investigator's global assessment scale to evaluate disease severity in patients with epidermal lysis bullosa simplex. This is based on a previously performed phase two trial, which was done to evaluate the efficacy of topical diacerin in patients with epidermal lysis bullosa. The original study was done by Professor Johann Bauer at the EB clinic in Salzburg. The objectives of the original study, the original clinical trial, were to uh, examine uh, patients who had severe forms of epidermal lysis bullosa, uh, bullosa simplex, specifically the dowling mara subtype, uh, and in a, uh, in a randomized crossover double-blinded placebo study, uh, the, the efficacy of this uh, substance was evaluated with a four-week treatment period followed by three months of observation, at which point blister counts were done at the beginning, middle, and end. The results of this study are demonstrated here and show a reduction in blisters from start to 16 weeks and a 60-point 60% uh, uh, reduction in a responder analysis that uh, demonstrated a reduction in blister count in severe forms of epidermal lysis bullosa simplex. We then developed a, uh, a new assessment scale called a investigator's global assessment, which was based on a five-point static scale, for, which included clear, near clear, mild, moderate, severe, in order to facilitate the ability to uh, assess patients with specifically with epidermal lysis bullosa simplex uh, to evaluate novel treatments. This scale incorporated specific definitions uh, including blisters, erosions, uh, uh, erythema, pigment changes that were, uh, were designed in conjunction with global EB experts such as Professor Bauer, uh, Dr. Amy Powler, Dr. Dadima Morell, in order to have a tool designed specifically for this disease entity. Now my colleague will describe the results and statistics of this reassessment. My name is Dr. John Pan and I will now discuss the results of, of our study. In order to uh, evaluate this novel uh, tool for uh, assessment of severity of EB simplex patients. Uh, we organized the original photographs from the phase two trial into a IGA rating document and invited uh, 10 lead investigators from across the globe, including investigators from the United States, from Europe and Australia, uh, to evaluate the lesions in a blinded fashion using this new IGA uh, assessment tool. The results demonstrate uh, good correlation uh, between the IGA scale assessment and the original clinical results. Uh, we looked at two separate uh, types of data. The first one was assessing the percentage of lesions which were moderate and severe at the beginning of the study that resolved to clear or near clear and you can see that uh, the lesions that were treated with diastrin, 58% uh, of those resolved uh, to clear or near clear compared to 40% of the lesions on placebo. This was statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0 0.05. The other analysis we performed was looking at the average change in the IGA scale of the lesions, and uh, there was again a significant difference between the lesions treated by diastrin versus placebo, 2.4 uh, change uh, for the uh, lesions uh, treated with diastrin versus 1.7 for the lesions treated with placebo. In conclusion, we believe this is a major step towards the development of uh, a validation uh, of a novel assessment tool specifically for EB simplex patients uh, 
uh, based on the uh, collaboration amongst investigators uh, from, from across the globe, uh, we believe this also provides a clinically meaningful link between the assessment tool and the clinical results from the prior phase two study. Thank you very much for your attention.